The new DevExpress grid control for Silverlight can be bound to data using a number of ways. One available method is to use the RIA services of the Windows Communication Foundation to create a model and load data from a SQL Server database. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create an ADO.NET Entities model and bind the Silverlight DX grid control to a local SQL Server Express database. So let's get started. I'll start with a new instance of Visual Studio. From the Start page, I click the New Project link. Here, I'll select Silverlight and click on the Silverlight application template. Let's give it an appropriate name and click OK to create the project. Next, I'm presented with the new Silverlight application window. I'll leave the first item checked so that a new website project is created to host the Silverlight application. I check the Enable WCF RIA Services box so I can use the Entities framework to bind to a SQL Server database. I click OK and the projects are created and populated accordingly. Now, to set up the data source, I'll need to start by adding an Entities data model. So, I select the ASP.NET application project and use the Control shift a keyboard shortcut combination to add a new item to the project. I switch to the Data Template category and select the ADO.NET Entity Data Model. I specify a proper name for it and add it to the project. Next, I'm presented with the Entity Data Model Wizard. I'll specify that the model should be created from an existing database and click Next. I'll use an existing connection string for my local instance of SQL Server Express. Let's keep the connection string name as Northwind Entities. I click Next and select the products table that will be used to populate the Silverlight grid with data. Notice that I also unchecked the pluralize or singularize generated object names. This is for the sake of simplicity and the fact that we're only using a single table in our model for this demo. I click Finish and the entity data model is created and displayed inside Visual Studio. I'll save and rebuild the solution. This is required so that the data entities become available for use throughout the project. Now I need to add a domain service class to provide data via WCF RIA services. To do this, I'll invoke the Add New Item window for the web project and select the Domain Service Class item. Let's give it an appropriate name and add it to the project. I'm presented with the new domain service class window where I need to specify which entity models to use for data. I'll use the only available data context and select the entities model for the products table of the Northwind sample database. I click OK and the product service domain service class is created and displayed in the IDE. I'll close the class file and switch to the Silverlight Designer. From the toolbox, I expand the DevExpress data category and drag and drop a new Silverlight grid control onto the page. I'll set it to fill the entire available area. Next, I select the grid control and set its Auto Populate Columns property to true so that columns are automatically created based on the supplied database fields. To bind the grid to data, I switch to Code View. I'll add namespace references to system.servicemodel.domainservices.client and the ASP.NET project itself. Let's rebuild the solution so the domain service class becomes available. I add a new instance of product context. Next, I add the following code to retrieve the data. and load it into the Silverlight DX grid control. And I'm done. I run the application to see the results. You can see the data is retrieved from the local SQL Server database and loaded into the grid control. All the necessary columns are also created automatically. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.